Hello guys, this is Mr. Valencia. We're doing distance learning tech tools for math teachers. And on today's video, we're going to be looking at an option for assessment um, using problematic. Um, after we explore problematic, I'm also going to show you how to export um, problematic file, maybe like a quiz file into Canvas. Okay, so when you go into problematic, this is what their site is going to look like. You can sign up for problematic, it's free. And um, I also want to bring to your attention that they have some information about the different plans that they have. So if you click on sign up, uh, it's going to ask you for some general information so you can create your account and then boom, you have your account. If you click on the plans, you'll see that they have a free subscription and they have like a school-wide subscription. Uh, the school-wide subscription does have some like additional features, uh, which include additional content, um, like AP Cal questions, ACT and SAT questions. They have a separate database for uh, pre-calc, so like they definitely have more content they have you have more questions to choose from and they also have some very cool technology extensions um you can export like after you work on a file you can export it into like google slides and you can put it in google classroom you could do like a google quiz form uh you could also download the file as a powerpoint file or as a smart notebook file and it also allows you to export the quiz or like whatever file you have into your LMS. I'm going to be showing you how to do that to Canvas. Okay, so once you log in into your account, this is what you'll see. Now, keep in mind that um, if you have a free account, uh, you might not have like this, this section. Um, but if you do have it, then you have all the different options. Um, you have New Year Regents exams, you have some more standards in here, you have additional math, co math content in here, and then you even have some questions in Spanish. So let's say that you click on math under New Year Regents exams, it's going to take you to this menu. So you see you have algebra, geometry, algebra two, trig, and then uh, this is organized by topic, but you could also organize it by exams. And it goes up to like um, January of 2020 for the common core regions um, once you click on like you expand this menu you can see like the different uh, topics within equations and then you can select the questions that you want um, you can arrange arrange the questions put them in the order that you want you can format the the, the quiz make it look pretty uh, maybe like one question two questions per page or whatever and then you can make it into a pdf so let me show you. All right. So if you let's say that within equations, we go into quadratic equations. It's going to give you a lot of options for questions. You start adding the questions. Um, once you have all the questions that you need, you can go to format, arrange, format, put them in whatever order that you want. And once you feel that the file is ready, the quiz is ready, you can then uh, make it into a PDF if you want a hard copy of it. And uh, problematic also gives you the option to export the file. So this is very cool because you could, if you use Google Classroom, you can make it into like a slideshow. You can actually make it into a quiz, a Google quiz. Um, and down here, uh, problematic gives you the option to download the file into a PowerPoint file and also um, a smart notebook file. And it, in addition, it allows you to download the quiz for your own LMS. And I'm gonna show you how to do that on Canvas. If you download the file into like PowerPoint or a smart notebook, what it does is it takes like every question from your quiz and it puts it on a slide, on a different slide. So this could be helpful if you're doing review uh, because then you have the, the presentation made for you. Um, if you, click on the um, quiz is going to download the quiz and then you can upload it to your lms my lms is canvas so if you go on to your course on canvas and you go to settings uh, you can then import uh, course content and it's going to bring you to this tab this is within canvas okay we're no longer on uh, problematic after you download the file you're going to go to Canvas. This is what my Canvas looks like. You go to settings, you go to import uh, course content, and then you can choose the file. 
and then you'll be able to have it in and assign it to your students. All right, so let me show you what the program actually looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like for me. So again, you have different options depending on the type of subscription that you have. Uh, so let's say I go in math, New York. So notice you have different options for algebra, geometry, algebra two, trig, uh, and you also have like exams. So for example, let's say like algebra one common core is gonna go up to like 2020. So this is very uh, current. Um, so let's say, for example, that I go into equations and I think before I had chosen quadratic equations just to show you what this looks like. All right, so in here, you're going to have a lot of questions to choose from. Um, you start choosing the questions. So I'm going to say, let's pick like four. Oh, no, I don't want to add all. Let's say I want to pick four questions. OK, so after you have your questions, you can uh, fix them up. You can arrange them. You can get, for example, if you have like a multiple choice, you could get rid of the choices and make it like an open ended question. Um, you can format the the quiz, what the quiz is going to look like. And then once you're ready, once you're happy, you can make it into a PDF. So you can download the PDF. Uh, you can share it with your students. Uh, but if you want a hard copy, you you could download it as a PDF. Um, but like nowadays with distance learning, it might be helpful to just export it or be able to put it on your LMS. So if you click on export, um, you have some options for like Google Classroom and make it into a Google quiz. And you can also download the file as a PowerPoint, Promethean, Smart Notebook, and an IWB. So if you actually download it as a PowerPoint or a Smart Notebook file, I want to show you what it does. So what it does is it's going to take every question and make it into a slide. So this can, this can be helpful if you're doing like a day of review. Uh, because then the presentation is going to be made for you. And same thing if you do like a small notebook file. Okay, so this this could be helpful. All right, the other thing that I wanted to show you is that you're also able to um, download the quiz or download the file for your own LMS. <clears throat> and they have different options in here. I use Canvas. So if, I, if you download the file, um, as a QTI file, then you should be able to put it on on Canvas. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you on Problematic. I'm now going to go into Canvas and show you how to do the file, how to upload the file. So once you're in your class within Canvas, I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to go to Import Course Content. And then once I'm there, I'm going to choose the type of file, which is a QTI. I'm gonna choose the file, which I have it here. And then I'm gonna import. Okay, so after you import the file, if you go into quizzes, the file should be there. Okay, so now at this point, once it's here, you can, let me show you what it looks like. So this is the quiz we just made on Problematic. Okay, so then at this point, you can assign it to your students and then everything will be within, within Canvas, which I thought was very cool. All right, guys, so what do I like about um, Problematic? I really like that, um, it allows you to like download the files and put it into your own um, into your own LMS. I think that could be very helpful, especially now with distance learning. Um, I like that it gives different options for like the fo the format of the file that you're downloading, and also it has different options for your own LMS. Uh, I also think that the database of questions is it ha has a lot to offer because you have it organized, for example, in New York by like New York regions, you could do the actual regions exam and they have additional databases that can be very helpful. Um, all right, guys, so I think that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.